Hello everybody, Smith here, and welcome back to some more BD Armory. Today we are taking a look at meme craft, and in the background you can see a gunfight between two of my Red Hawks and two meme wheels, a craft sent to me by George Goya as part of this channel's third birthday celebrations. Sadly, the months and the successive versions of BD Armory have not been kind to the meme wheel, uh, whereas once it was quite deadly, now it's kind of a bit of a sitting duck, which is kind of a shame, but it's... It's still a fantastically ridiculous craft. Um, yeah, anyway, at the last mailbag stream, I was sent four meme craft, and for various technical reasons, we couldn't get round to them, but they are they are just brilliantly stupid or stupidly brilliant, one or the other, and I just wanted to show them off, so I'm going to stick them into a little mini tournament, and we'll have some fun with that. Uh, yeah, anyway, let's get cracking. I suppose we should start by asking ourselves... What is a meme craft? How would you describe it? Well, it's difficult to define. It's it's elusive. It's enigmatic. It's it's this kind of bull right here. Um, this is the Godray of Uranium by Ben Aaron, and I am going to put it up against the Kitmaster Mark V Stormcloud by Jack O'Mara. And I was going to make these three v three fights, but then I took a look at some of the part counts. Yeah. So the God Ray of Uranium, I, I think you can guess what kind of strategy that's going for with the uh, in the combat. Got a few missiles there, possibly as an afterthought. afterthought. The, uh, the Kitmaster Mark V, two of these lasers, three of these Gawaits placed inside these little uh, small circular intakes, which looks quite nice. And a, god, just a, well, a f ton of, of, control, of uh, wing and control surfaces. Let's, um... Let's get this one going. And the competition starts. Um, there's a little bit of difficulty there. I think the uh, the Kitmasters were having trouble grouping up. Here we're here with Ion Kerman in one of the Godray of Uraniums. And yeah, that's a lot of missiles. That's a lot of explosions. Um, the Kitmasters will be very dangerous when they can get around because, of course, they've got those lasers if they can actually get them to lock on. They get kind of coming into gun range now. Uh, oh, that was nice. Just taking out those missiles with the lasers. Uh, this one managing to get through, but countermeasures look like, uh, yeah, they'll be right. It's going for the lasers. It's going for the lasers. The god rate of uraniums might be in trouble unless they can... Unless they can get in close and actually unleash, that's just stupid. That is just stupid. How's the get? Yeah, my game wasn't particularly happy to start with, and then all those bullets started flying. One of the god rays has gone. One of the god rays has gone, and the other one has gone as well. The Kitmaster Mark V's quite improbably withstood that. Just that hail of bullets, uh, just long enough to um to bring those lasers to bear. Oh, damn it, that was stupid. Let's, um, let's move on. Next up, we have two craft by He Who Watches, a.k.a. Adam Henderson. Uh, yeah, he sent me a, a couple of craft uh, for the last mailbag, which he uh, earmarked as meme craft. And if you think it's unfair that uh, Adam Henderson gets two craft in this competition, then pay attention. There's nothing even remotely fair about this entire video. Um... We start with the FA M33 M3, a drone um, with detachable landing gear. I couldn't see anything in the space plane hangar that actually would automatically detach that, so I had to go ahead and bind that to a hotkey um, because detachable landing gear are notoriously, um, shall we say, troublesome. And then we have the uh, the SRAE325, a slightly saner looking craft. Um, I'm not entirely sure what it's doing here, to be quite honest. Uh, and the name, is that the SRA? Is it the S-Ray? The S-Ray? I have no idea. Let's, um, let's just get them in the air and see what happens. And the competition starts. I forgot to go over the, uh, the armament for these, uh, these two craft. If I can say armament properly, that would help. Uh, we, of course, have got the massive laser on the front. Also, um, missiles? Yes. A couple of uh, four sidewinders and uh, some Vulcans. Oh! And I'm not sure these things have much by way of countermeasures. Oh, of course, they've got the laser. The uh, M33, M3. Oh, that's looking bad! It had the laser, but the laser wasn't enough. 
So yeah, surprisingly, the uh, the um, let's just call it the three two five. Yeah, did pretty well. Just with the uh, just with missiles and guns, it managed to uh, to take out that uh, that um, quite slick looking drone. Anyway, let's um, let's make this window smaller because that's looking a bit yeah. And let's move on to what I, what I suppose you could call a final. So for this Clash of the Titans, we have the winners of the previous two fights. We have the uh, the Storm Cloud, which uh, I've just also noticed has a couple of repulsor cannons just for um, added ridiculousness, and the uh, the S Ray three two five, which again, kind of sane looking craft, but it, it really did the job in the last fight. Let's um, let's I forgot to put the brakes on this one. Let's just get them into the air, shall we? And the competition starts. We are here with the uh, with the Stormcloud and Legadlat Kerman. Yeah, not particularly stable in the role, but as I said, it did the job last time out. Uh, Missa was coming in. Will it? It's going for the laser, which it uses to devastating effect. More missiles coming in. It's kind of almost not fair, but then, as I said, kind of the point of this video. Oh my god! And it crashes into the ground. I suppose that's sort of a win for the storm clouds. <laughs> and this one's unless this one's going to crash into the ground as well. No, it just about manages to uh, just about manages to keep it together. <laughs> I was really hoping to see like a proper gunfight in that one, but no, that's ah, <laughs> oh, that's not how that was going to work. As I said, hideously, hideously unfair. Let's um. Let's see how these uh, crafts stack up against a more traditional combat fighter. So for this final fight uh, against the storm clouds, I have decided to sacrifice my own lynxes. Um, yeah, let's see. Uh, let's see how they get on. I think we know very well how they're going to get on. But regardless, let's let's get them into the air. And the competition starts. The uh, the kitmaster's here with all the roll stability of a barrel going down some steps, struggling to turn. The uh, the lynxes have already got some missiles away. I'm assuming the um, yeah the airborne lasers make quick work of those. I think the only hope the lynxes have is to get in close as quickly as they possibly can. Keep firing those missiles, and hopefully they can get a bit of a gun kill. Oh no! Here comes here comes the laser. Keep going! Keep going! You can do it! You can do it! I believe in you! Oh, damn it all. Well, that's a cloud of debris. Um, so, the Kitmasters, that's, that's a hell of a craft. <laughs> I don't think there's anything more I can say. Uh, yes. Thank you to uh, Aramo707 for that, and thank you also to um, uh, Adam Henderson and to Ben Aaron for the other craft. So yeah, that was a, that was a quick selection of meme craft we received for the uh, for the next live stream that I never got to. Um, yeah, but still in a little bit of disbelief. Anyway, yes, that will be all for today. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please consider liking, subscribing, following me on Twitter, uh, getting involved with the Discord, Great BD Armory, and uh, KSP Community on there. All those links in the description, as are links to the PayPal and Patreon, if you want to help support the channel. Um, I will be back soon with some slightly more sensible BD Armory, but uh, until then, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.